Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today we are writing a program to check whether entered date is palindrome or not. A word, phrase or sequence that reads the same backwards as forwards is called as palindrome. And we already did two videos on this concept. But in that videos we wrote the program to check the entered number or string is palindrome or not. But today we are checking whether entered date is palindrome or not. So without talking much, let's begin with the program. So to check whether entered date is palindrome or not, we need date. So we'll ask the user to enter the date. Okay, so I'll ask the user to enter the date in ddmmyyyy format. So you can ask the user to enter the date in any format and I'll store the entered input in the variable called date. Here you can see I'm taking the string input. I'm using Python 3. So input function by default takes input as string. That means I'm taking string input here. To check whether date is palindrome or not, we need to reverse that. And reversing string and checking for the palindrome is very easy. That's why I'll take the input in the string form. If you enter a date, it will treat that as a string and it will store that in variable date. Next, I'll take another variable called given date and I'll replace this with empty string. So that is nothing but when I ask the user to enter the date in this format, he'll enter something like this, right? 22, 11, 1993. I don't want this character. I need to remove that. That's why I used replace method. It is a string method and it will replace this string by empty string. I'll show you the output now. Then you'll understand that. If I save this and run this. So it will ask enter the date in this format, right? If I enter 21, 12, 2012. It will remove this character from the date okay next now we have a date in our required format now we need to reverse that date so to reverse that date i'll take a variable called reversed date and i'll use advanced slicing we already discussed about how we can reverse this thing using advanced slicing so i will give you the link of that video in the description box you should mention the string name and step as minus one in this slicing we'll mention start end and step here no need to mention start and end only mention step okay so this will reverse the string and that reversed string will be stored in this variable next we need to check the given date and the reversed date so given date will be stored in the variable given date and the reverse date is stored in the variable reversed date. So I need to compare whether these two are equal. Okay, I need to compare. If yes, then the given date is palindrome. Otherwise, it is not palindrome. To check whether a string or number is palindrome or not, first we need to reverse that string or number. Then we need to compare that reverse string and the given string. If both are equal, then that means that string or number is palindrome. If not, that is not palindrome. That's what we did here. We treated our date as string and we removed this character from our string. Later, we reverse that string and we compared our given date with the reverse string. If both are equal, then that means date is palindrome. If not, it is not palindrome. To compare that given date and reverse date, I used if else condition. Okay, so now we'll save this and run this. So I'll enter a date. So if I take date 21-02-2012 and if I reverse this, what I'll get? I'll get 2102-2012. Okay, both are equal. That means this date is palindrome date so here i'll take that i'll take 2102 2012 is palindrome yes right this date is palindrome 
if I take another, I'll take 30, 10, 2019 is not palindrome, right? It's not palindrome. Okay, so this is about palindrome program. Here, this program has many limitations. That is, we are taking the input in this format. If the user doesn't want to give the input in this format, then what to do? So if he want to enter day, month and year separately, then how to write this program? So for that, you need to take the input like this, enter day, enter month, enter year separately. Okay, you need to take the string inputs. As I said, reversing the string or concatenating the string is very easy. So next you should take a variable and you need to concatenate day, month and year like this to form a date. Next you can find out the reverse of this. Then you can copy this code. You need to find the reverse of that given date. Then you need to compare this given date with the reverse date. So if I enter 21, 02 and 2012. So here we didn't uh, took date variable, right? So we can print a message like this, okay? Date is palindrome. Date is not palindrome. So you can take the input in different way also. And one more thing, you can take date in different format. This is the one way you can take day first, next month followed by year or you can take only two digits of year, last two digits of the year or you can take yum yum dd like this also okay so you'll get different palindrome date for different format here we took this format you can try different format also so next if you want to check the valid date as well as palindrome dates in a program then how to do that in this program we are not checking whether entered date is valid or not right if you enter any date it will reverse that date it will check whether that date is palindrome or not if you want to write a program where you want to check the enter date is valid or not if it is valid then only you want to find out whether that is palindrome or not then you need to write the program like this this is the program to check whether enter date is valid or not we already discussed about this program in the previous class. So I will give you the link of that video in the description box. You can go and check that. So I won't explain this program now. Here we are checking whether entered date is valid or not. Now we need to modify this program. We need to check whether entered date is valid or not first. If it is valid, then we need to check whether entered date is palindrome or not. So for that here in the else part, we can see it will print the message entered date is valid that is nothing but when the program executes this else part that means the date is valid so here we will check whether entered date is palindrome or not but here we took the input as integer input and we stored that integer input in day month year variable but we want string input right so what i'll do is i'll convert day month and year to string now so i'll take variable called dd you can take any variable and i'll use str and i'll convert day i'll take month okay so i'll convert my integer input to string next after getting the string i will concatenate this I'll take I'll take first day next month next year okay so now given date contains our date in the string form now we need to reverse that and we need to check whether given date equal to reverse date we already did that so I'll copy this 
done now if i save this and run this you can check first whether enter date is valid or not like if i enter 29 days in the second month of uh, 1999 it will give enter date is invalid so it won't check whether it is palindrome or not if i enter 2102 and 2012 it will give date is not palindrome enter date is valid but it will give date is not palindrome actually this date is palindrome but we are getting date is not palindrome that is because here we are taking the integer input right so when i mention month as 02 here we can see when i mention month as 02 it will take it as month equal to 2 okay it will ignore this 0 that's why we are getting date is not palindrome to solve that problem when we convert this day and month to string here i'll check if mm is less than 10 okay so if i mention month which is less than 10 then mm equal to concatenate a zero before that month same with day okay so when i enter day as 21 02 and 2012 because we are entering integer input it will ignore this zero it will take month as two when i convert this to string it will be 21 to 2012 so when i reverse this we'll get 2102 212 so this is not equal right the reverse string and given string is not equal so we'll get date is not palindrome so to solve this problem when i convert this day month and year to string i'll check whether month is less than 10 if yes then i'll add a zero before that month okay it will become 2102 same way when day is less than 10 we'll add zero before that day okay now if i reverse this i'll get 2102 2012 so this and this is same so we'll get date is palindrome i'll show you the output okay so now if i execute this if i enter 21 02 and 2012 sorry here you need to take check for month sorry need to check for day because uh, so here 10 is an integer so you so we need to compare it with the integer value itself so month contains integer input and day contains integer input mm and dd contains string input so we need to compare month and day here so now 21 02 2012 it will give enter date is valid date is palindrome so in this way you can write the palindrome program if you have better way to write this program then don't forget to comment below so that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care.